Hey everyone, it's Jess from Midsummer. I'm here because I found this awesome craft idea on Pinterest and I wanted to do something bookish with it. So the whole idea is that you can make coasters out of images to use in your house. And these are just some that I did out of some photos of, this is an old photo of me and my mom. Hi mom! So I thought these would be not only just good gifts, but they're really adding a personal touch to your house. So I thought since I'm such a bookish person, why not try it with some of my favorite book covers? So the books I chose specifically are Caraval by Stephanie Garber, Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor, uh, this is The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen, the new cover because I absolutely love it. Uh, Uprising by Margaret Haddix, and this is the paperback cover because I like it a lot better than the one with all the three faces on the cover. And Winter Song by S.J. Jones. So basically all you need to get started is a basic plain tile from like your local hardware store. These were like 80 cents. Each, and I've got five here, so we're going to do five today. You just need some Mod Podge clear gloss from your local craft store and some Mod Podge acrylic sealer. And of course, a little paintbrush so you don't make a mess. And on the back, we're going to put sticky felt so that way it doesn't mark up any of your furniture or your tables. But first things first, you want to make sure you have a nice printed copy. Now I've already trimmed some of these down just to you know get the process started but as you can see they don't quite fit on here yet so we're gonna trim a little bit of them so that way they fit right on the 4x4 tile. So now we're just gonna keep trimming. I personally really like the white border idea that I've got here on the one with me and my mom where the picture doesn't totally fit the edge so it kinda looks like it's been framed so I'm going to continue to do that with some of these. Now if you're like me and you're not very good at you know cutting things straight, you can use a ruler and make it look more perfect. I personally kind of like the idea that it looks more homemade and a little imperfect because let's be honest, there's no way I'd be able to get these things even, even if I tried. Now the one I chose for um, Strange the Dreamer, mostly because of the way that the cover is just so beautiful. The novel put out these awesome little quote images, and so I printed one that has the quote, he had crossed continents and drunk starlight from rivers without names. There was no going back from that. And it does say Lainey Taylor, Strange the Dreamer, on the bottom. So I just thought it would be kind of cool to have one that wasn't just a book cover, but a nice quote from the book. So I'm just gonna trim this one up here. So, the first step, now that you've selected your first two book covers or images, is to use your Mod Podge gloss, and you're going to go ahead and put your first layer on the tile. Now, you want to make sure it's covered completely evenly. We're going to go ahead and do it on both of these tiles. So now, we're just going to take the image that we selected, and we're going to frame it on the tile. The next thing we do once we put the image on the tile, see, not too bad, right? <laughs> once we've done this, you gotta let the Mod Podge dry for about 15 to 20 minutes, and then come back and we'll start the next step. The first 15 minutes have passed. Everything's looking good. They aren't falling off. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do top coats to protect the image and to make it basically waterproof in case anything spills on it. So we're going to do five layers of Mod Podge on top of these in 15 minute increments. So yes, this project takes a lot of waiting, which is okay because like I said, they turn out so good. Same thing as before, you're just going to cover it from edge to edge and make sure the Mod Podge is spread even, evenly across the entire, um, oh hi, that was my cat. 
and put it evenly across the entire thing. Hi Izzy, no ma'am. Now, when you're first doing this, like the first time I did it, you're gonna see that the Mod Podge actually goes on white. So it actually looks like it's covering it up and you're not gonna be able to see through it. But fortunately, it actually dries clear and it ends up looking like this. Hi. <laughs> so it works out well that way. <laughs> That's a little bit about that while I did my first coat and let's let it dry and come back in 15 more minutes all right 15 minutes over time for the second coat as you can see the mod podge dried completely clears so while i'm putting on the second coat i'm going to talk a little bit about some of my favorite characters from each of these books so in Winter Song, I think it's fairly obvious to most anyone who knows me, or even just you watching this video, that the Goblin King is by far my favorite character. In Labyrinth, he was my favorite character as well, mostly because Sarah was really whiny, and let's be honest, if she had been in this book, she would have, like, died and just killed over. So I really liked Liesel, but the Goblin King is still by far my favorite. And in Strange the Dreamer, it should be no surprise to you that Laszlo Strange himself is my favorite. I identify with him so much in the fact that all he really wants in life is to continue learning. And he just wants to spend time in the library and keep learning about his mysterious obsession with the city of wheat. So, in The Truth About Forever, I really do have trouble deciding between Macy and Wes. They both have such hard stories, but I think the best part of the book is Macy's journey towards accepting what happened to her father, and it's heartbreaking, and, you know, watching, I say watching, but reading her come to terms with this part of her life that has made everything so hard, and it took so much away from her, it's just so well done. Um, in Uprising, I honestly could not choose between all three of the girls. Yetta, Bella, and Jane are all very strong characters. They approach their circumstances in so many different ways, and their lives are just so difficult. In Caraval, I have trouble not choosing Dante, but I think a lot of that is because he's got that bad boy tattoo vibe. So I think I'm eventually going to choose Julian, even though, you know, some stuff happens where you're just like, really, Julian? Really? All right. 15 more minutes, <laughs> and we'll start doing the third layer. I totally discovered a shortcut, and I've been using my handy-dandy hair dryer to help dry these in between each layer so it doesn't take as long. Don't know why I didn't think about that before. All right. Layer three. Seriously, no idea why I didn't think about that before. <laughs> Look how fast it works! So from here I'm just going to skip over doing layers 4 and 5 because, let's be honest, it's just more repetitive. Alright, so the fifth layer is complete and you can see how great they all look. They're all, you can see right through them. Sure, there are maybe little lumps in them because it's my first time doing these without printing it on photo paper, so that might be something to remember in the future. So the next step is to spray each of these with my Mod Podge Super High Gloss Acrylic Sealer. Now you can see I've covered my desk because I really don't want to get sealant all over it, and it is flammable so be careful, and it does smell pretty strong. So it's something to do in an open space, maybe if you've got like some fans running, things like that to kind of, you know, keep it down. Now, <coughs> like I said, it smells bad. Now, the next step is to kind of just let that dry. After the sealant dries and, you know, the smell finally dissipates, we're going to measure each of these tiles onto some peel and stick felt, and we'll put it on the back, and then we'll be done. Okay, now we're on to the last step. First, you can see how shiny the acrylic sealer makes these. 
But the next step is going to be putting them on the back and then we're going to be done. So first thing I'm going to do is put this right here on top of it. So it's pretty much an exact measurement of what all I need. Get a handy dandy pen and go ahead and just trace the outside so it's an exact match. Okay. And the good thing about the peel and stick felt, you literally just peel it and stick it and then you're 100% done. And now the felt will protect any surface that you choose to use it on. All right, there you have it. Bookish coasters for your home. Uh, if you decide to try and do this, please send me pictures. You can tweet us at Midsummer Reads or Instagram at Midsummer Reads. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube for more fun bookish crafts and videos. And please stay tuned and I will make sure to add a list of all of your supplies that you're gonna need. Thank you so much. See you soon.